Democrats, in Southern California nationally, are rallying around San Gabriel Valley Area Representative Judy Chu, who is fiercely pushing back after a GOP congressman suggested she was disloyal to the nation after reports in conservative media that she and the longtime CEO of a Pasadena-based bank have tea. The accusations, denied as racist and unfounded by Chu in a series of statements over the last two weeks, sparked among the fiercest pushback after Rep. Lance Gooden, R. Texas appeared on Fox News on Wednesday, saying that Chu should be looked into by the FBI following reports in the conservative O. If she doesn't realize what's going on then she's totally out of touch with one of her core constituencies. Gooden suggested that Chu should no longer have access to intelligence briefings. The comments, which echoed an earlier letter penned by Gooden and five other Republicans to the FBI demanding an investigation into NG's ties to the Chinese Communist Party, drew immediate ire from Democrats and Chu herself as the allegations questioning her loyalty, and that of NG's, echoed over CA. Chu immediately pushed back, telling the Washington Post after Gooden's Fox spot that Gooden's comments questioning her loyalty to the U.S. were absolutely outrageous, based on false information spread by an extreme, right-wing website. Furthermore, it is racist. I very much doubt that he would be spreading these lies were I not of Chinese-American descent. In recent days, irate Democrats have rushed to support Chu, who rose from a school board member at the Garvey School District in Rosemead to the Monterey Park City Council to ultimately the first Chinese-American woman elected to Congress in 2009. On Friday, Irvine State Senator Dave Min condemned Gooden's comments, adding that throughout her career in public service, Congresswoman Chu has served honorably in the racist, xenophobic, anti-Asian hate directed toward her by a fellow member of Congress as disgusting and appalling. House Democratic Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries called the comments, slanderous, calling the questioning of Chu's loyalty to the nation, dangerous, unconscionable and xenophobic. Jeffries called Gooden's comments are, dangerous, unconscionable and xenophobic, according to Axios.